what up, what up, what up, Night Nation? It's your boy, Stevie Knight. About to get on one of these things, you feel me? What's good with the watch? Before we dive into anything, man, make sure y'all pull up to shopstevieknight.com. Anytime you see your boy rocking some drip that you rocking with, man, pull up to the site, find something you like. I got you. Check me out on my Patreon, Night's Watch, uh, Instagram, Stevie Knight. Check my other YouTube channel, Night Talk. All my links for all my sh will be in the description box below. Um, so Jonah Lucas, bro, uh, he's definitely been making his rounds, promoting his album as he should, because the album goes crazy, crazy. Um, I think I'm going to go on ahead and say at this point that I can, I think that this latest album is his best work. I think I'm confident in saying that at this point. I've had it on repeat since uh, he's dropped it. And the shit goes hard, dog. I just like I like everything about it, bro. You know what I'm saying like he's found his lane. Well, no, this is I'm not gonna say his lane. He's versatile, bro. Cuz can do it all, but I just like what his focus is right now at this point. Um, but I say all that because I did a reaction to the joint he had with Simba and DMX, and I was like, I hope this ain't no fucking no AI DMX, bro, because that shit just caught me off guard. Like, how the fuck did Joyner pull that off? Have DMX on his album? But come to find out that uh, Joyner and DMX was was cool. Like, they was homies and shit, bro. Um, I seen Joyner discuss that a few times, making his rounds, promoting his album. So I wanted to share that with y'all. You feel me? Because um, I'm sure a lot of y'all are unaware of the amount of influence that DMX had on Joyner Lucas's career specifically, right? But yeah, I wanted to show y'all the video where he discusses. I say all that to say, um, y'all may remember my reaction to that Joyner drop or that Joyner song with DMX. I remember hearing that shit, listening to it for the first time, like, the fuck? Like, is this really DMX? I'm questioning this shit, bro. I'm like, how the, how the fuck did Joyner pull this off? How the heck you get X on your album? Like, how how long has it been since X has passed? And we ain't seen nothing on, on the media as far as y'all two kicking it or working together. Y'all just had this shit just in the, in the, in the safe. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm questioning this shit, but, that, but it couldn't be AI, right? It, it, ha it would have to be DMX, but I needed more information on it. But turns out Joyner has been making his rounds and he has shared that with the world of, you know, how him and X came together, collaborated and all that, bro. And it's, it's been uh, very interesting, bro, because DMX has had quite uh, impact on Joyner Lucas as an artist. And um, we should be appreciative of the influence that DMX has had on him, bro. So I, um, I'm not sure. I know a lot of y'all haven't seen these rounds because these, these videos that Joyner's sharing this shit haven't gotten a lot of views. So I just wanted to bring attention to that from my platform because I certainly fuck with DMX, right? I don't bring his name up enough, you know what I'm saying? But like, you know, as a rapper, rapper, I'm not going to put DMX in a conversation with no fucking Eminem and no goddamn Wayne and no k or nothing like that. DMX ain't rapping like that, but just as a artistry and his impact on the game and how he showed up and just shut shit down. Bro, like, he's not really parallel with anybody, bro. Like, the effect that DMX had on the hip-hop game when he was at his highest of heights, bro, is unmatched. You know what I'm saying? With what he brought to the game musically, stage presence-wise, charisma-wise, originality, all that, bro. Like, DMX was just a fucking alien. You know what I mean? Um, but he's not one of those that you need to break bars down with. It's just everything that arrives with X. <laughs> X is a different breed. And to see that him and Joyner are homies. And you, I can really, it really makes me see how real Joyner is too for the fact that he was not here trying to fucking promote that, you know, benefit from that, capitalize off of the fact that, you know, you got DMX pretty much it's your homie, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it shows me the authenticity and genuineness that comes with Joyner, bro. Because a lot of these fake motherfuckers are just... A lot of... Most of the industry is fake. And they just want to use each other to to 
push themselves up. And DMX has been gone for quite some time. So for Joyner to hold on to these verses and to not promote the fact that he's, you know, kicking it with DMX all the goddamn time just shows you how real Joyner is, bro. But I just wanted to show y'all the video. It's a priceless. I know. Super now, was that before? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I spent a little time with X. What was that like? Got to pick his brain, go play pool with him. Chill with him. It was weird because I kind of had a feeling that, like, at some point he would go before his time, you know? Right. So I picked his brain and asked him a lot of questions about his life, his upbringing. You know, he was an open book with me. He was a beast in pool, too. I'll tell you that. Yeah? Yeah. Damn, Damn I wish I would have played him. He was on fuck with a bullet pool. You play pool? Of course I do. Mm. <laughs> Lost to me. Ah, uh, but it's another story. That's a no uh, job. <laughs> you guys, that's you my hand. Why are like, we in a barbershop right now, yeah, bro? If you, if you, we should be at a pool you table right now shooting this. What are we talking about? Oh, we can do that. I got one of my building balls. Yeah, that was wild crazy. crazy. That's a big ball. <laughs> <laughs> These guys, you know, you drop the eight ball and they're like, oh, victory. Like, come on, bro. Yo, you win some. <laughs> <laughs> come on, you want you my You win D4, some, bro. you lose you some, but D4, you live my nigga. Like, to play another real. day. He said victory. <laughs> that's not real. <laughs> yeah. You got five balls on the table, but I dropped the eight ball by accident. Like, come on, come why? On, yo, you lost, that's man. That's a dub. That's it. Rules. It don't matter how you, you're spinning, you when, lost, Whenever man. you ready, yeah. Like, we can play again. But, yo, you won the game after that. You know, you know. I see I'm gonna win every game after that, bro. Come on, bro. But yeah, so you, so you got to play pool when you beast at pool. Yeah, that's 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 we yeah. we got pool table on the road, pool table all the time. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh yeah. But I but I got to play um, pool with X and <laughs> pick brain. Yeah. Well, for those of y'all who are wondering, that's Joiner's manager. So was he was he dominating? He was exact, you ever you ever met him? Yeah. You met X? Mm -hmm. He's exactly how he is on them songs, bro. All the all the random barking and shit. Was he really, barking on the pool table? Real, job, real life. <laughs> <laughs> Rest no, the real shit. No, he really he real shit. He really did I, that. He was, when he I was really in the pool hall with him, and I went in the elevator, it was just me and him in the elevator. What? It was me and X in the elevator. I feel like there's a pause yeah, coming here. So. No, 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 no Diddy. No, oh, God. Come on. <laughs> Come on, my nigga. We in the motherfucking elevator, just me and him. This is one of the first times I chilled with the nigga. And we in the elevator. The door shut to the elevator. It's just quiet as fuck, right? And he pushes the button. And all of a sudden, this nigga go. What? <laughs> just like that. I'm like, what the fuck? I swear to God, he just went, what? That's like, him. Fuck? I'm like, oh, this nigga really like that. Like, he really do that shit. He really do that. I wasn't about to ask him, why'd you do that? Right. <laughs> I wasn't about to ask him that shit, because that would have been weird. But right. it was like, he just went, what? And I'm just like, oh, shit. <laughs> this, nigga really, this nigga really do that shit. He wow. barked. Come on! <laughs> he barked on somebody for taking a picture. And when I say barked, I mean like he he barked at the dude. We was uh, arf, arf. Yeah. 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 No, not like that. Nah, nah, we don't sound like that, that bro. Like that. That, 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 that was a chihuahua. That was a chihuahua. That was a chihuahua. Let's go, yeah. man. No, that was it. That's it. He, nah. he was, he was upstairs, he was upstairs talking to somebody. And homeboy on the side. On some regular shit, just was a sneaky out. picture. No, it was he. He wasn't hiding. He was just, you know, he's talking to somebody. Oh shit, DMX is talking. DMX sounded like he was about to say something deep. Homeboy went in his pocket, pulled his phone out, went like this, and like went to record. And D was talking, and he looked to the side and caught homeboy with. That was that's a form of disrespect. And he though. barked twice at him. No, yo, no pictures. And like. Uh, uh, he barked at him twice. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, actually, right? yeah. <laughs> what, what, what would you say was, oh, it, crazy. was was probably the best jewel you got from spending time with? The jewel, the best jewel. Oh, um, man. Damn. Like if we get in the elevator now, you gonna go what out of nowhere? Nah, 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 nah. I'm not into that. <laughs> funny, funny is we had a real conversation one day about labels and shit. And he went into this whole story. Actually, I got it on video. 
I got we get we get into a whole story about labels and he was telling me about his experience with labels and how they did him dirty and da da da. I was explaining my displeasurement with the label that I was on at the time, and he basically told me how it works and how it is. And then he told me that you know what I'm saying you gotta make sure that you, um, you know you gotta make sure that you. Uh, bringing something to the table, you gotta, you gotta make these motherfuckers believe in you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make these motherfuckers fight for you. You gotta make them go crazy. You gotta bring something to the table that's just like undeniable. And right after I did that record, I, I, I wrote, "I'm not racist." Wow. Mm. Changed my whole life. Wow. Right after that conversation, the first record that I wrote was "I'm not racist." That yeah. record came after. The right conversation after the conversation with, with X, because it was like at that point I knew I had to do something. Mm -hmm. It was like, damn, I gotta do something. Like, what are you saying? Resonating with me? Cause that like, that was his actual last ditch effort. <laughs> yeah, that's why I wanted to show y'all this. For those of y'all who weren't aware, who aren't aware, bro, that Joiner and DMX was cool. It's one thing, but to know that DMX had that amount of impact on Joiner as an artist. So essentially, we have DMX to thank for bringing that monster no diddy out of joiner bro real talk bro i'm not racist i mean for the majority yeah 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 for the majority of real joiner fans that video is what put joiner on the map that's what brought y'all to a joiner like for real for real y'all may have known of him before you may have caught wind of him after but I guarantee you, for the majority, those of y'all that saw that video, I'm not racist, that's what made Joyner hit different. Right? And we got DMX to thank for that. Odd, isn't it? Odd, isn't it, bro? That's hard, bro. And it just makes me think, it makes me think about Joyner as an artist on an, indiv on an individual basis more. It's kind of gets away from the DMX conversation, which is just, it's just fire to know that that shit happened that, that way. Like, you know, DMX dropped some gems, which, which are pretty commonsensical gems, because you could take what he just said and extrapolate that out with people just living life in general, especially like in capitalism and, and out working or out earning or you're outpacing your counterparts, your competitors and shit. You got to do shit to separate yourself. Like I can learn from that as well anybody can learn from that as well in, in, in any aspect of life any aspect of work you got to do shit that's going to separate yourself when you so much you separate yourself that's when you win it right and join or separate himself with that uh i'm not racist hell he really uh, said he, he separated himself with uh Rat, ross cappuccione too but i think i'm not racist was uh it had much more influence because of what it was because of the content of that song, right? Everyone could relate to it. Um, but just think about Joyner as an artist, bro. I was thinking about this shit the other day too. It's like, even though he has a young career as a rapper, who 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 makes better videos than Joyner? When he when he wants to go ham, give him motherfuckers something visual, something to consume, something to digest, visually, creatively, audibly, lyrically, bro. Who's doing that better than Jordan Lucas at this age, at this stage in his career, bro? You know what I mean, and uh, yeah, in this stage of his career, because he has a, he has a relatively new career, bro. Cuz has only been in the industry like popping, popping. I don't even know when uh, what like 2015, 2016, ain't even been 10 years yet, bro. Like, and he don't got the money behind him to fucking do these crazy ass monster videos too. He made he got a lot more money now. But back then he didn't he didn't even have the budget, bro. And this fool is putting this shit together. Imagine when he's getting a fucking Drake budget, a K dot budget. You know what I'm saying? He's the brain power behind these videos and these visuals he's giving us, bro. There was nobody else doing that better than Joiner at this stage in his career. And he's like, I, 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 he's he's backing away from doing that as much. Like Broski, he gave us that shit in Broski. I mean, with the multiple perspectives and people talking to each other, providing narratives and giving you a visual to do it. Like, Broski was uh, some of that, man, but, like, the I'm not racist, the uh, 
keep it a hundred, the sorry not sorry's, the what else he got, man? Like he has videos. Even the one with Ashanti was cool. Right? But he knows how to put a visual like he he knows how to put a fucking movie together for you. And um on top of the fact that he can wrap circles around 95% of the game, bro. Yeah, Joyner's different, bro. He's different, dog. So, I just wanted to share that with y'all, man. A lot of y'all may have not known. I know I didn't know that shit. And, uh, yeah, that's fucking dope. You know what I'm saying? We got X co-signing you. <laughs> and willing to fucking give you records. And according to Joyner, he has, he has more verses from X2 that he's going to release later on, too. It's fire. Uh, but, yeah, man. Hope y'all enjoyed that. Uh, the little videos, especially from my expert opinion, bro, like they're going deep into the journey of Joiner and his hip hop shit, bro. And it's a crazy story about like record labels playing him and what he's learned. And his manager says a lot too, because a lot of this shit Joiner can't speak on because of NDAs and shit. So he has his manager speaking on his behalf regards to these crazy ass situations that took place throughout his career, bro. It's, it's just a dope ass storyline that I had no idea about. So y'all uh, tap into my expert opinion and peep the fucking story and shit. Make sure y'all tap into fucking Jordan's album too if you haven't peeped yet. You missing out. Um, but yeah, man. Hope y'all enjoy that. I'm out here. Grinding the grow, Growing the ground all the goddamn time. Night Nation. I watch. Love y'all motherfuckers. I'm out.